got a glass jaw. The nigga's a sucker, man. I hit that nigga. I hit him one punch. You know what I'm saying? It was already knocked out before he hit the ground. Go shit, Marcus, and come sit down. His right. head fell backwards, and his head bounced off the pavement, yeah. almost killed him. He was falling from the mouth and bleeding back his head. Now, if I was really a dog nigga and I was really trying to get something to that, I stopped him out, but I wasn't. It wasn't a. It wasn't a revenge or angry. It was a respect thing. Morning, America and the rest of the world. Xander J. Hobson here, stand-up comedian, entertainer, director, and producer of boxing documentaries and troll to those who need troll. This is another episode of The Devil's Advocate, brought to you by the Brain Artist Movement. I'm trying to go to platform, so please subscribe, like this video, share it. And by all means, leave a comment in the comment section because I enjoy checking out the feedback from these videos that I make, as well as exchanging opinions and points of views with you all. I cannot stress enough I'm trying to grow my channel. So for that reason, I need you to like, share, and subscribe to this video. And then one day, I'm standing out in front of the funny, the, uh, funny bone on Sunset, and he wasn't even mad enough to confront me head on. He came behind me and hit me here with a pipe. Knocked me, I fell backwards, and my head hit the car, hit the street. A female who was there picked me up for the cab and almost about to run over my head, almost died. So anyway, by now, we should all be tired of hearing about TK and Scratch Up. I mean, in all honesty, who really cares? But before I let this TK and Scratch Up thing go, don't do that when I do it. Before I let this TK and Scratch Old thing go, um, I want to present a fact that I discovered while listening to this whole debacle for the untamed time. Um, you've seen the opening video. But see, TK's everybody's scared of him. He's a bully. That's why the nigga got a glass jaw. The nigga's a sucker, man. I hit that nigga one punch. You know what I'm saying? It was already knocked out Go oh, shit, Marcus, and come sit down. His right. head fell backwards, and his head bounced off the pavement, almost killed him. His Scrancho says that he ran up on TK and knocked TK out. TK says he came behind me and hit me here with a pipe. Knocked me, I fell backwards, and my head hit the car, hit the street. I got staples in the back of my head. Well. I found some inconsistencies in what was said. Listen to the footage and I'll come right back. The nigga got a glass jaw. The nigga's a sucker, man. I hit that nigga, I hit him one punch. You know what I'm saying? It was already knocked out before he hit the ground. Oh shit, Marcus, and come sit down. His head fell backwards and his head bounced off the pavement, and almost killed him. He was falling from the mouth and bleeding back his head. head. Now, if I was really a dog nigga and I was really trying to get something to that nigga, I stopped him out, but I wasn't, it wasn't a, it wasn't a revenge or an angry, it was a respect thing. And then one day, I'm standing out in front of the funny, the, uh, funny bone on Sunset, and he wasn't even mad enough to confront me head on. He came behind me and hit me here with a pipe. Knocked me, I fell backwards. And my head hit the car, hit the street. A female who was there picked me up for the cab and almost about to run over my head. Almost died. If you listen to the footage, Scrancho says he ran up on TK, hit him in his jaw, and TK fell back and hit his head and landed in the street. If you listen to what TK says, TK says Scrancho snuck up behind him and hit him in the back of a head, in the back of the head with a pike. TK then goes on to say, Knocked me, I fell backwards, and my head hit the car, hit the street. A female, I fell backwards, and my head hit the car, hit the street. I fell backwards, and my head hit the car, hit the street. I fell backwards. Okay. TK, if Scrancho snuck up behind you 
and hit you in the back of the head with a pipe. Wouldn't it stand to reason that you would have fell forward and hit the front of your head on the car and landed in the street face first? Sprancho asserted that TK was asleep before he even hit the ground. So that's not nothing long and drawn out. I just wanted to point out the inconsistency in the story that TK was telling. Uh, no way Sprancho hit you in the back of your head and you fell backwards. Uh, if Sprancho would have ran up on you from the back and hit you in the front of your head and you would have fell backwards, that would have made more sense. But I just wanted to point out the inconsistency in what TK Kirkland said. So in this case right here, TK has not remembered it, how it actually happened. Maybe TK wanted to forget what actually happened and in an effort to make him feel better about what happened, TK convinced himself that Scrancho ran up on him and hit him in the back of the head and took him out as opposed to walking up on him and hitting him with a shot. Now, there's a strong possibility that Scrancho might have sucker punched TK. But again, we don't know if that is indeed the case because there was never an issue of Scrancho sucker punching me. The issue was Scrancho came up from behind. Now, I think there might have been a possibility that Scrancho might actually sucker punch TK. Maybe TK saw Scrancho coming and he might not have thought Scrancho was going to do anything to him. And Scrancho might have just walked right up on him and socked him and knocked him out. Um, I don't know. But again, I just wanted to point to this inconsistency. Uh, and since I pointed this inconsistency out, um, I'm just about done with this. Um, I'm going to close this video out by saying this. I'm not on TK's side. I'm not on Scratcho's side. I am a social media influencer. This is what I do. I get on this uh, YouTube and I report and make videos about trending topics. So now that we got that on the table, I'm done with it.